In this section, we're going to be looking at solving equations and inequalities that involve the modulus function. So, effectively, um, you will have met, hopefully by this point, the modulus function as part of A-level maths. If you haven't, it's probably a good idea that you go and learn that bit first. Um, not essential, but um, you'll really kind of get to grips with what the modulus function is all about if you do. Um, so really what we want to investigate is what the modulus of a function is really going to do. What's going to happen when we put the modulus brackets around a function? Now, what I want to think about uh, along those lines is really graphically what does that mean? So, for example, if you have y is equal to, let's say, x plus 1, then we can very easily draw y equals x plus 1. OK. Now, obviously, that's going through 1, and that's minus 1. Now, if you put the modular signs around the function, OK, then what's going to happen is that the part of the graph that was below the x-axis will now get reflected up in the x-axis. So this portion of the graph, all of those values, like when x is minus 2, x is minus 3, x is minus 4, when I substitute those in, I will be taking the modulus of negative numbers, which means I'll be getting positive outputs. And so this portion of the graph is reflected up in the x-axis. OK? And so this is y equals the modulus of x plus 1. Now, we can use that same idea to look at all sorts of graphs. It doesn't have to be just linear graphs like that, which is the main focus of A-level maths. If we had something like y equals, um, let's go with just x plus 2, x minus 2, so a quadratic. OK, so this would be a parabola centred on the y-axis, going through minus 2 and 2, OK, on the x-axis. Now, if I put modulus signs around that, then anything that was below the x-axis is now reflected up. And so this piece here is reflected up in the x-axis, like so. And so the curve here, and that's going to be at 4, is going like this, and then it bounces, and then it comes back up again. OK, so that piece doesn't really exist anymore, so we can get rid of that. And so that's what y equals the modulus of x plus 2, x minus 2 looks like. OK, now you can do this with uh, any function you like. You know, we could look at y equals the modulus of sine x. OK, so if we think about sine x, something like this, then if I take the modulus of that, then the pieces that are below the x-axis will get reflected up. So these parts will go. And so the sine curve, the modulus of it, would look like this where that's pi, that's 2 pi, that's minus pi, that's 1. OK? So, in order to solve equations and inequalities, when we think about the sketch of the graph, we've got to consider that if we've got modulus signs around the whole thing, that anything that's below the x-axis will be reflected up in it. And that's our methodology when we move forward trying to solve these problems.